Hi, I'm Madison from Epic Scouts. So as we know, the Forex market is the most active market in the world and it trades 30 times the volume of the stock market. Now, given this level of activity, it can be overwhelming for beginner traders to know where to start. In this video, I'd like to provide a very simple strategy. It's known as the 531 strategy, and it's a strategy that can help you get started and find a trading style that makes you feel comfortable. So unlike other trading strategies, which focus on timeframes and different Forex trading mechanisms, the 531 strategy focuses on five different currency pairs, it focuses on three different trading strategies, and it focuses on a specific time that you find you want to trade. A well-defined trading plan has more chance of success because it allows you to assess where you may be going wrong and then correct those various actions methodically. Also, it'll help you to build a strong trading psyche, which is probably one of the most important aspects to consider during your trading. Each of the numbers in the 531 strategy has particular significance. So let's take a look. The number five denotes the five currency pairs that you would like to trade. Choosing the right pairs will set the tone for developing a very strong trading strategy. When choosing a forex trading pair, you want to be aware of the level of activity of that pair during certain trading hours. So what you can do is you can create a watch list of various pairs depending on your preferred trading hours. For example, the Euro USD will be more active during the London and New York sessions, just because that's when those currency pairs will be traded. Next, with each of these pairs, review the latest news and economic data. This step will help you identify currencies that are most likely to move based on the data available. You'll be able to establish your trading preferences by gaining perspective on the fundamental price movements of the currencies on your watch list. You also need to conduct intermarket analysis. Some commodities affect the movements of certain currencies. For example, the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar are very much linked to oil prices. And so you will also watch various commodities and see how they affect those currencies. If you are only focusing on five pairs, it is relatively easy to keep track of what is moving these currencies. And so it'll narrow down your focus and you'll be able to really keep an eye on how these currencies are moving and why they are moving. Next, you're gonna pick three strategies. Choosing a strategy will be as critical as choosing your currency pairs. And the strategies that you choose will depend on your risk appetite, your trading style, and your financial goals. So you may choose from scalping, from arbitrage, from day trading, from swing trading, from positional trading. It all depends on how much time you have to trade in the day and which trading strategies suit your personality and your trading psychology. And generally a trading plan will have rules for the setup you will identify, what the signal is, what your trigger is, when you'll open your trade, how you'll manage your risk, in other words, where you'll set your take profits and your stop losses, your position sizing, and then of course, how you'll close your trades and the reasons for closing your trades. And basically you wanna come up with three different trading strategies because the markets change from day to day. And so if you only have one or two trading strategies, you might find that the opportunities to use those strategies are very few and far between. And lastly, you want to select your time to trade. Now, since the Forex market is open 24-5, it may be tempting to capitalize on as many trading opportunities as possible. But this is not always wise. Firstly, traders without defined timelines will get exhausted by looking for constant trading opportunities. This no-break trading where you're sitting in front of the computer screens all day often leads to fatigue and bad decision making. It also leaves you with very little time to solidify your trading strategy, to backtest your trading strategy and to practice on a demo account. Another aspect to consider is picking one time to trade during the day also helps you to build your discipline. It also helps you to gain a much deeper understanding of how the markets react at a particular time of the day. The markets have an ebb and a flow and what you'll realize is during certain times of the day certain market activity tends to occur. It will also give you insights into how the markets react to a particular news update or economic event. And this is because the supply and demand of a currency will be very different depending on the time of the day. If the markets are very volatile and there's a lack of liquidity, it means that it's going to be much more difficult and probably much more expensive to buy or sell your currency pair. 
basically you want to pick a time to trade where it suits your schedule first of all but that it also suits your currency pair that it is a time where the currency pair is the most liquid and the most active in the market thanks so much for watching if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us our website is fxscounts.com and if you like that video please remember to subscribe and like